This is a video for Science 7, Heat and Temperature, and we've been talking about states of matter. And we know that all matter has mass, but the question came up, how do you show that air has mass? Well, because how do you show air has mass? So we're going to try a little experiment. And for this experiment, you need two balloons that we're going to blow up, you need some tape, a uh, yardstick, or a meter stick, and something to turn this into a balance. I just happen to have something here from the, the physics department where we have a little device I can stick my ruler through and make it balance. So I'll set this up. So I have my balloon set up here. You can see I've had to raise my, my device up a little higher so that uh, it could swing freely. So we've set up a balance and they're they're pretty much in line there. So I'm going to gently let the air out of one balloon and we'll see what happens. And you can see now that the balloon with the air is just slightly heavier than the one without the air. We had to be really careful with this and not have chunks of balloon flying off because that would, that would create a variable, wouldn't it? But you can see that uh, even though air doesn't weigh very much, we can find ways to measure it and show that it has mass. Here's another way we can show air has mass. Um, I've borrowed a couple of inflated sports balls from the phys ed department and you can see I've got one of those uh, devices to either pump air in. We're going to use that to let the air out and we're going to weigh our inflated balls before and after and see what difference that makes. Our basketball here is starting at about 533 grams. So let's see what happens after. I think that'll do. Take out the needle. We'll put it back on the digital scale. And we can see we've lost about two and a half grams of air there. So it's down to 530.6 grams. Let's try it with the volleyball now. We have 268.8 grams with air in, in inflated. Let's see what happens when we take the air out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's see what our ball weighs now. And 266.8 grams. So you can see there is a difference. It's not huge, but it is measurable. And we can show that air does indeed take up space and have mass.